Hey everybody, <clears throat> I have really got to fix my intro because there's no sound to it. Anyway, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on this channel. And let's get into to Day's video. So we witnessed the first ever start of Sam Howell at quarterback yesterday against the Dallas Cowboys. And I have to say, I was very impressed by Sam Howell's performance. Now, Sam Howell did some rookie things. Uh, that interception in the end zone was, <clears throat> was not great. But how many times have we seen some not so great interceptions by Carson Wentz and Taylor Heineke throughout the season as well. So you're going to expect the rookie quarterback to come in and make a few mistakes. That that was one big one. A few other mistakes, certainly. Um, I think it was that jet sweep. Uh, that was another one that really stood out to me. Uh, the one where the timing was just off. And I think it was supposed to go to, maybe it was supposed to go to John Bates. And it just... It just it, the timing was just off. That play just kind of got blown up. Um, but those things are very correctable. It's just it's I'm not worried about stuff like that at all. The overall play, I was so impressed by Sam Howell. His poise, uh, he was calm. He came back from that interception, didn't get himself down. Came back and played really well from that. And that's a sign of a very good quarterback who's got a good head on his shoulders. He played well with his legs, had some good runs, you know, took off running when he need, needed to, uh, chose to scramble when it was there for him. Um, that great design run for a touchdown for Sam Howell. Uh, that was that was good. His first ever pass to Terry McLaurin of all guys for a touchdown. I mean, that's how you start your career off. And overall, I was very impressed uh, by Sam Howe. Now the question is, who is going to be QB one next season? And of course, that is a question that is. Not going to be answered in this video, but I can give you my opinion. And my opinion is you don't go after a retread in the offseason. Not unless it's somebody like Tom Brady, who obviously he's the GOAT. And if he wants to come to Washington, I think by all means you make an opportunity for him to come to Washington. Maybe Aaron Rodgers, I don't know. Um, but... Honestly, I don't think you, I don't see anybody else. Derek Carr, possibly, but honestly, I don't want to go the veteran quarterback route. I think we develop our own, and I think you develop Sam Howell. I don't think you necessarily give Sam Howell the QB1 at the very get-go. I think you make it an open competition between him and Taylor Heineke. Maybe you draft a, a guy this year in the draft and you say, you know what? It's an open competition between all three quarterbacks. And you go into it like that and see who comes up as the best quarterback and you roll with that guy and see how far he takes you. But I don't think you go after a retread quarterback this year at all. We don't need to be spending that money. We need to, of course, part ways with Carson Wentz. We need to take that money. We need to we need to invest that money into re-signing Deron Payne. And then we need to rebuild that offensive line. That offensive line needs to be completely rebuilt. If we can rebuild that offensive line, build it up to something stout and respectable something that's going to be looking a little bit more like a championship offensive line. And then we actually get a play caller who knows how to call some plays, who knows how to call plays 
around the talent that he has, then that is what you roll with. And I think that we have something special, in my opinion, I think we have something special with Sam Howell. And I think a lot of people, yeah, you're going to say pump your brakes. This was one game. But this was one game against a Dallas Cowboys team that had everything to play for. This was a game that they had the opportunity to play for the number one seed in the playoffs. They had a chance to play for the division crown in the, in, in the division. They had everything to play for. They had all their starters in on defense. And Sam Howell handled the pressure beautifully. He didn't fold under pressure. He had Micah Parsons out there. Handled all of that beautifully. So I would say I would not I would not brush that under the rug as well, this was nothing. This was just one game. This was a huge game. This was almost too big of a game to even consider putting a rookie quarterback in who has not played the entire year. You know, even Logan Paulson of uh of the Take Command uh, podcast, he had talked about this not really being the the probably the opportunity that I would you know put Sam Howell in, but yet Sam Howell really played well, and I think you do take from this, and you do learn a lot from this one game for Sam Howell, and you you do say that this is a game that. I can look at to say Sam Howell made good decisions for the most part. Sam Howell was able to choose to run the ball when he needed to, and he was very effective doing that. Sam Howell had a better arm. Uh, maybe not as a better, a stronger arm than Carson Wentz, but definitely stronger than Taylor Heineke. He was able to get the ball out much faster than the other two. Um, some of those passes were just dark passes, and passes I have not seen from the other two quarterbacks all year long that he got to Jahan Dotson and uh, Taylor Heineke hitting those guys on stride, letting those guys uh, do those yak runs after the catch. Those are the type of plays that can turn into huge huge plays and we really have not seen those plays all season long and so honestly Sam Howell I think he has I think we have something special with him that's my opinion I know a lot of people are, are going to be against that you're still going to have a lot of arguments going into um, the off season that we have to go out and we have to get a veteran quarterback we got to go out and spend all this money on that. Sam Howell's not ready. Even though he played well, he's not the guy. I don't know what you think the guy is, but I didn't see anything within Sam Howell's play that would deter me from allowing him to compete for the job next season. I'm not saying you give him the job going into the offseason, but I'm telling you, you allow him to compete for that QB1 position. Let him compete for it. And if he doesn't get it, then okay. He's got a little bit more to learn. He's got a little bit more work to put in. But he's going to get there. But he should be within the conversation. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like this video. Share it with your friends. Comment on this video. It helps the algorithm. It helps me out a great deal when you do. And again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing to Washington Football Maniacs. And with that said, hell to the Commanders. Let's go Maniacs. We're heading into the offseason, but don't worry. We will have plenty to talk about in the offseason. Let's go. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.